Who is it? Jamie, uh, yeah, Micah, Micah, Thierry, Kate. And, and Thierry and Kate, yeah. What a team. So, um, that was difficult for you today. Yeah, it was a tough game. Um, they came to play. They, they put it on us from the first minute. And, you know, they, they were really intense with them without the ball. But I think uh, it's about kind of waiting and picking the moments of when we can attack, um, keeping the ball a little bit better. We didn't do that tonight. We weren't at our best, but it's important that you can win games and go through in the, the most important competitions when, when you're still not playing as well as you can. So um, we take the positives and not satisfied, but uh, onto the quarterfinals. No doubt that you did a lot with what you had, but the first half, it was like uh, you were lacking something, battery, energy, something missing. Yeah, I think we, we missed that kind of threat uh, deeper past the last line. You know, I tried to do it from midfield and the, the wingers kind of tried to come in and do the similar thing. But it's difficult sometimes when the players are so switched on to it from the opposition. You know, they, they watch the, the film, obviously, and they see where we're strong. So that's difficult sometimes. But um, like I said, we, we found a way to win the game, found a way to get through to the next round, which is the most important thing. What was said at halftime? Just kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's not good, but you've got time to improve. We're still in a good position. Obviously, we were still leading in the tie. So, um, yeah, we we're always pretty calm at halftime. We know what we can turn it on, like we've shown many times this season. So, um, as I said, not our best, and we got reminded of that, but it's important that we take responsibility and uh, keep it moving. And all that was said in Spanish? Yeah, yeah. I tell you, mine's getting better, you know, in Spanish. So uh, I understood a little bit, and then if not, then I looked to my left and my right and uh, see if uh, someone can translate. Oh, yeah, so you look like you know what this has been yeah, said. Yeah, give it that one, deny like that. Yeah, that, that only goes on for the next yeah, two years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you go, you, you saw the space, you went for it. Mm. As you were running with the ball, what, what were you thinking? I was just waiting for Vinny to run inside, to be fair. It's something that we talk about a lot and we try and replicate in training about certain movements when each of us have the ball. I think um, the goal against Girona where he has the ball wide, I always know that he likes that pass through. So, yeah, we try and work off each other and I knew he didn't want to stay on the line. I just had to hold the ball for long enough for him to make the the run inside and yeah I got the pass more or less um, right on the money and then uh, Vinny does what he always does and delivers for us. Jamie Carrick I think so I have a laugh at my clothes uh, would you have anything to say about I think my you look brilliant today? tonight mate honestly I think you look brilliant I've seen some of the suits that Jamie wears and <laughs> I'm not too sure so I, I think you can give him a bit of stick back. <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries. Have a good night. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> he's a class act, isn't he? Uh, honestly, what he's brilliant. He's unbelievable, isn't he? Said, he? What a team. What a team. Yeah, he said, what did he say? The, oh, just the team. What, what a team, team yeah. Dream yeah. team, yeah. I mean, in that situation there, Terry, when you're talking about, you're a man who would be sort of maybe be Vinicius in that position when you're making a run, Dennis Bergkamp's maybe in that position to play that ball. I mean, the credit we always give is to the the pass, the guy who makes the yeah. assist. I always remember when I was, I was at Liverpool as a young player coming through and the, the mantra at Liverpool was always pass and move, pass and move. But the coach was always adamant. It was about the move was yes. more important than the pass. Yes. yes. If no one moves, you can't pass. So I'll explain. So Bellingham looked to see if he had someone there. Now he's carrying the ball, but he's like, hey, can you move, please? Can you move, please? And I, I tell you why Vinicius Junior knew he could move. If Will Oban turned and looked at Vinicius Junior, he would have pulled off. Yeah. Is he going to wide? He's going wide. He would have gone and played his 1v1. You turned. <laughs> you, you never see me move. That, that was me. As soon as he turned, how are you going to see the guy running in? Yeah. It's an easy one. If you went in and looked at him and assessed the two situation, he would have gone, ah, he saw me. I need to stay here. Let me play my 1v1. Mm -hmm. You turn. How are you going to see his run? Dead. See you later. Yeah. Can I ask you, Thierry? Obviously, Angelo knows what he's doing. Yeah. Why would he set up like that in the first half? I will, I, will, I will be honest with you. I was surprised when I saw that the four midfielders, I think he was worried about the, the, the intensity and how they are really dense inside and they were going to counter. But I'm thinking Real Madrid, I'm thinking you at home, you already won nil. We all know that it happened when they beat Ajax 2-1, they lost 4-1, Ancelotti wasn't the manager, but I will give Jamie, you know, some credit with what he said because Ancelotti plays the situation and the moment at times. You, you understand what I mean? He must have thought, OK, we won it up. We're going to have our guy on the outside, Bellingham coming in. When they're going to try to block us here, we're going to go on the outside. It didn't work. You saw who ended up attacking Kamavinga, Ferlan Mendy and Carvajal. But what I like with Ancelotti, he's not stubborn. It didn't work. Let's switch it. He adapted. That was, that was hard. Yeah, we, 
we suffered a lot, suffered a lot, and uh, yeah, they played well and we played bad. Simple. So it was um, a Real Madrid that was thinking of the first leg result. Is that why it took the first half a little bit, a while for you to get take off? Uh -huh. I don't think. I don't think we were thinking uh, thinking about the first game. Uh, no, we were just sloppy. We were slow. Zero intensity. We didn't get in the challenges, and uh, yeah, in the Champions League, uh, <laughs> you can get punished for this. I can imagine you get into the changing room and saying those words, but much louder. Come on, guys! No. Oh, like at the end of the day, you have to always uh, try to keep your calm, of course. But warning, and uh, yeah, but you don't need to. You don't need to lose your head. And that's what happened in the second half. You tried to control matters, but you were getting deeper and deeper and deeper because Rabi Leipzig did really good game. No, no, no. They, they did. They did. They, they did well, as I said. Uh, they pressed us behind. They made us stay behind, and uh, yeah, we didn't find the right answer today. So is that the lesson? What's the lesson today? If you want to no, take the lesson, it? the lesson is that uh, you cannot uh, you cannot start you cannot start and finish a match like that in the in the Champions League. Uh, you have to you have to be switched on uh, 90 minutes and plus. Clear. Do you celebrate getting to the quarters or? No, no, no. This we don't celebrate because it was not a, it was not a good performance. But we are through. At the end of the day, we are through. But uh, yeah, I think there's stuff to talk about. And finally, the uh, the goal, you goal, magnificent uh, with Jude. It's far away from you, by the way, but uh, you get you get to see it. Uh, the run of you and the finish of Vinicius, quality. No, like uh, they both are pure quality, and uh, yeah, next time we expect more. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Um Interesting. I, I guess one of my questions would be: He talked about you can't start and finish a game like that. You have to be switched on. Did you think it was a focus thing for Real Madrid, or did you think it was more a tactical approach that you didn't fully understand or agree look, with look, in that uh, first half? Usually, in the league or during a run in the Champions League. Jimmy can tell you that, Mike, I can tell you that. You can have a tie or a game where you, you get away with it. Yeah. Massively. We all know the run of the year that they won the Champions League in Paris. The, the run was magnificent and it was just crazy, but they didn't concede that many opportunities. That was, you know, home and away. It can happen. Can it happen again? No. They went through. So hopefully for them it won't happen again. It, that can happen to any team in the world. What I'm saying is what I like with Rudiger there, he didn't shy away. They were better, we were not good, let's move on, we went through, we have to rectify a couple of stuff, but it's not going to change anything of who they are. Tonight, and at their place also uh, in, in Germany, they were not good, as simple as that. But big teams manage to go through when they are not good. I think that summed up, when you, when you think of managers, you think of Carlo Ancelotti, the most successful manager we've seen in this competition, but he's not a manager who has a sort of uh, a defined playing style of this is what his team do. He's, he's like a pragmatic coach in that he'll play whatever the game is or whatever the situation is. So they go into the game, they're winning. So we say, OK, even though we're Real Madrid, we're going to come here and got to play almost without a striker. Mm. You know, so we say it's not really the Real Madrid way, but when you think of Carlo Ancelotti, he probably will attack in a certain game or we'll see them maybe try and play counter-attack. He's almost a little bit old-fashioned in that maybe some like the managers that we had. Now when you see managers today, it's like we always play the same way, whether we, no matter who the opposition is, no matter whether we're home or away, this is our style, this is our imprint on the game. But Ancelotti's different from that, but it works for him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you're one of the eight teams that are, are playing next week and hoping to book their place in the quarterfinals, of the four teams that we already see who've made it through, Manchester City, Real Madrid, PSG, uh, who am I missing? Bayern, Bayern Munich, thank Bayern. you. Um, who do you want to play? Who's the weakest link in that it, four? It's hard to say, though, asking. isn't it? It is hard to say because, like Thierry said, on Real Madrid t tonight, over the two legs, they weren't at the best. But that can change. Remember the, the time when... Real Madrid didn't look good against Manchester City, against PSG, against Chelsea, and, and the comeback. It looked like they was down and out. Real just Madrid pick one. Turn... Just pick one. Pick one. Go on. Who do Man, of, it, Man it, City it, want out of them three? It, it's, it's hard to say. In terms of forming in a league, I would say I would take Bayern. So Bayern. I would take Bayern. He said Bayern. What about Arsenal, you? who would you take? Uh, uh, Porto, right now. No. OK, fine, but we, the, we're not through. We lost already... one nil. It's you. <laughs> we're behind the eight ball. You don't want to jinx it. It's, no, it's on the, uh, we're not there. So. But let's it, say you get there. Let's say you get, I, I don't you get the job done. Says. Excuse I'd me? I'd take Bayern. Thanks. Well, you would take Bayern as well, Jim. Yeah, yeah I just think... I'm not there. I just think the manager. OK. The manager leaving, there's a bit of upheaval. 
I'll take Bayern.